This is a little off striking, let me tell you. We just got back from Colorado last night after uh, spending Halloween with our son and his wife and our grandsons. That was a lot more fun than this, believe me. Anyway, thank you, thank you so much for being part of our journey for 26 years. We are so very, very grateful for all the work that has got us to where we are today. No one person can solve this case and bring Jacob home. It takes all of us working together to do that. Obviously, law enforcement plays a huge role. And you guys, too. You media play a very, very important role in getting the information out to the public. But you know what? No one plays a more important role than you, everyday citizens, in reporting that little piece of information when added to other pieces of information will solve the puzzle and bring Jacob home. Thank you so very much. I also want to thank you for being with us for 26 years. It's an amazing length of time. And the reason we wanted to do this here is because this is, this is where it happened. We still don't know who took Jacob. We have as many questions or more as all of you, and uh, we will let law enforcement and the courts and, and the process continue, and we'll watch impatiently um, for answers. But it, the one question that we have said for 26 years is, where's Jacob? Where is Jacob? And that's what we're always going to ask is, where is Jacob? That's what we've been trying to find for all of these years. And I really believe that somebody in this community knows. We are really, really proud of, of Jared and all of the, the victims who came forward in Painesville. Um, there may be other victims. There may be other stories to share. What we do know is that child sexual abuse and abduction is something that we can't tolerate and I refuse to be silenced by this man I, I w we were caught off guard like all of you and we don't have the answers yet but I refuse to be silent we have to all I know that there's more good people in the world than bad and when good people pull together amazing things happen and that's what we need to, to focus on I have been focusing on the world that Jacob knew and believed in for all of this time and I I want us to remember that. I want us to, to still know that hope is real. Hope is what Jacob knew. It is a verb. You don't sit back and hope that good things happen. It is all of you showing up. We know that missing kids come home after long periods of time. You've, you've seen those stories. I've met those families. And I will still always, always hope until we have our answers. But we have to also focus on preventing these things from happening so that no other family would ever have to go through this. We can't tolerate victimization of children. We need to teach our children how to not grow up and harm another. It's not that hard. Having conversations starting at really, really young ages about treating one another with respect, the golden rule, it's really basic stuff. No hitting, no punching. Don't talk like that. We can do that. We can build a world that values its children. Doug Wood wrote a song so many years ago, and I honestly, I sing it every time um, I take off in a plane, and I, and I think that the words are so telling. He wrote, there's a dream that we dream how the world should be, where the children are safe, where the children are free. But we know if it's to happen, we must make it so. We are Jacob's hope, and we are Morgan's hope. We're the hope for every missing child who's still out there, and we're the hope for all of your children. Every child who's home safe today, it's our job as adults to build that world where children can be safe and grow up and follow their dreams. I've watched you play Jacob's tape 
repeatedly. It's like, when I grow up, I want to be. That's what we're fighting for. When I grow up, I want to be. And these kids need us to do that. So we will watch with all of you. I'm on my way tomorrow to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Their work continues. They find these kids. They also investigate child pornography, which are the charges that, that this man's being held on. We know it's horrific. We know that last year the National Center investigated over a million photos, images online, and that record was broken in the first three months of this year. This is a serious problem, and our kids need us to not give up. So thank you. Thank you for having that vision and being with us. We will hope and pray that one day we will have the answer to the one question that we've asked forever. Where is Jacob? Somebody knows, and we're begging for those answers. Thank you.